Welcome to Barcelona, the culinary capital of Spain. The city is bursting with its flavors. We'll be exploring all the delicious dishes and specialties that make Barcelona such a culinary gem. So let's explore sounds, sights and flavors. Ladies and gentlemen, right behind me stands an architectural marvel. True masterpiece that captures the essence of Barcelona, the Sagrada Familia designed by the brilliant architect Anthony Gaudi. It has been a work in progress for over a century. Its unique design seamlessly blends Gothic and Art Nouveau style. But here is the catch. It's not finished yet. Construction began in 1882 and the expected completion date is 2026. Uh, when finished, the basilica will have a total of 18 spires. Each spire represents a different religious figure or aspect of the Christian faith. The central spire dedicated to Jesus Christ will reach a height of 170 meters, making it the tallest church spire in the world. When you first lay your eyes on Sagrada Familia, you'll totally get Gaudi's unique vibe and you'll come across it all over Barcelona. Gaudi's incredible, no doubt about it. But guess what? My stomach was growling. And that's a sign, it's brunch o'clock. We kinda skipped breakfast, you know how it goes. We headed to this cool spot everyone's talking about, Milk Bar and Bistro, and trust me, what we ate there was the next level. Very nice mixture of the flavors that Chorizo gives you. Oiliness, the smokiness, the saltiness. It's like a punch of umami. Chorizo is not your typical sausage. What surprised me the most, it has some acidity to it. And it takes this dish to another level. Wow! With the tomatoes, greens, green beans, and egg on top. Mucho gracias. Me gusta esta plata. Believe me, these pancakes were amazing too. Great breakfast, guys. Uh, once we finished our food, we headed over to check out the Arc de Triomphe. What surprised me the most, the Arc is not a military triumphal Arc, but rather a welcoming Arc. It was built to symbolize Barcelona's hospitality and artistic and cultural achievements. You see, Barcelona doesn't just capture your attention, it captures your heart. You can feel here at home, no matter where you're from. Meanwhile, our culinary journey continues. We're about to try the part of Spanish culinary DNA. Meet Jamón Ibérico. It's a culinary treasure from Spain, crafted from acorn-fed Iberian pigs. This delicacy boasts a rich, nutty flavor with a hint of salt. Its long curing process, often lasting years, results in a mouth-watering masterpiece that captivates the senses. Very important street food dish in Barcelona. Just a jamón. Look at that. Simple small thing, but with very intense flavor. Extremely salty, extremely oily, but delightful. First I couldn't believe my ears, then I couldn't believe my eyes. Two guys were performing an opera right in the heart of the historic district. Just listen to their voices. Look at this, tomato paste, olive oil, garlic. Simplicity at its best. Sometimes it doesn't work. I'm not a big fan of the bread to be like watery. This one, unfortunately, doesn't work for me, but I'll eat it anyway. Wow, that is a salty one. The saltiness is on its extreme but the flavors which you get are very, very unique. The aftertaste is outstanding. It gives you like almost a creamy perception. Okay, seems like my brother got a nice idea about it. We'll try to save this unfortunate tomato sandwich with a little bit of saltiness from anchovy. All right. You know what? It works. We finished our dinner with some croquettas 
and more hamon. Alright folks, here's advice. If you're chasing an ultimate sunset experience in any city in the world, you've gotta head to the coast. The sea breeze carries the whispers of the evening and the sound of waves creates a soothing backdrop. The sky transforms into a vivid canvas of warm colors, setting the stage for a magical experience. Our journey led us to a renowned cocktail bar Two Schmucks, which held the prestigious title of being the fifth best bar in the world. Honestly, there are so many things you can do in Barcelona at night. You can go to one of the amusement parks or visit legendary Torre Agbar. This iconic tower is a true spectacle at night. You see, Barcelona by night is an adventure waiting to happen. However, the one spot you absolutely cannot miss is the stunning magic fountain of Montjuic you might want to see it with your own eyes. We woke up quite early to the noise of a protest happening outside. You know what's cool about Barcelonians? They don't hold back. If they don't like something, they'll speak up. If you're wondering, what is the best breakfast in Catalonia? I got something for you. Traditional Catalonian black sausage. Whoa. Very early. Smell it. Super fat. <laughs> the flavor is kind of the same as my shoes after the football. I bet the taste is going to be outstanding. You better don't smell the stuff. You just gotta eat it. like that. He was The creaminess. Oh my god. This specific cheese is served with the blueberry jam on the side. So it's a perfect balance of the saltiness, of the sweetness, crispiness of the cracker. Mucho gracias. The third one is the most beautiful one. It's a pepper stuffed with the goat cheese. They're so colorful. Wow, I didn't expect that. This one is the winner. So you get the earthiness of the pepper. You get the sweetness from the sauce. A little bit of acidity from the goat cheese. Unexpectedly good. We've enjoyed some fantastic Spanish dishes so far. But you know what? It's time to bring out the big guns. The rock star of the show, paella. This dish is like the curd cobain of Spanish cuisine with its saffron kissed rice and seafood flavors that will blow your mind.
this is how the tartar should look like. A little bit of microgreen on top. This is a tartar. They have a guacamole base, freshest salmon in the world on top, perfect crunch with this nice crisp part. I'm super ready to try this one. If you're wondering, what is that? It's actually the salad. It's a mixture of mango and Parmesan cheese with a different type of berries. They definitely have a secret on this salad and it's a secret sauce. It gives you a bunch of mango flavor. Oof. Oh, fellas, I think that I'm looking at the piece of art right now. I gotta try all the ingredients all together. Look how they treated the shrimp. So well constructed dish. Every single detail makes sense. Speechless. I think I've never tried the dish that intense on the seafood aromas. After our meal, we got hit with the most creative dessert menu. Basically, it's a board displaying all the sweet stuff. You could smell it, see it. It's totally irresistible. Happy birthday! This place is the biggest recommendation in Barcelona so far. After a satisfying meal, we were itching for more. So we hopped on the cable car that goes to the top of the Montjuic mountain. And you know, these panoramas definitely worth 13 euros. Look at this view, guys. It's incredible. Sometimes you can turn on random street and find something like that. Street culture, guys. Look at that. Graffiti in this park just blew my mind. But what surprised me the most was the amount of layers, hundreds of artworks that are painted one on top of the other. If you are already thinking Barcelona is a slice of paradise, Hold on tight, because we are about to dive into a whole new dimension of cocktails, Paradiso Bar. Picture this, you sneak into the joint through a secret door in a pastrami spot, uncovering a hidden gem. Inside, it's all about that cool fusion of vintage and modern, creating the ultimate Instagrammable experience. This is not your average bar, it's actually a third best globally. They're known for their sophisticated cocktails mixed by the coolest bartenders in the game.
despite waking up with a hint of a hangover, there was no stopping us from visiting the final spot of our Barcelona adventure, the city's most renowned food market. Hey there, fellow foodies! Welcome to La Boqueria, the heart and soul for culinary culture in Barcelona. For more than 800 years, this market was a melting pot for cultures and flavors. Drawing tourists and locals alike with its vibrant colors, enticing aromas and friendly atmosphere. Over here, you can feel the pulse of the city. What can be better than the fresh oysters from the market? They so huge. The meatiest oysters I ever tried. I asked the vendor, what should I try as well? And she told me, this guy will change my perception of the seafood. It's a sea urchin. It kind of reminds me of the caviar. It has a texture almost like a cod liver. Tender. I would say, this will be a perfect ingredient for the salad, for the sandwich with your wine. They call it a taco burger. You have a burger patty inside wrapped in the taco. Pretty cool. And of course, I finalized it with a pack of fresh fruits. Right. After soaking up the food market vibes, we decided to wrap up the day at the iconic park Guel. It's a visual feast crafted by Gaudi. You can find here the vibrant mosaic art, whimsical architecture and panoramic views that redefine breathtaking. Personally, I think it's a perfect spot to conclude our adventure. So thank you for watching. Hit subscribe for more epic travel stories coming your way. Thank you, Barcelona. You're nothing short of spectacular.